us through how you got started on YouTube. What inspired it? How I got started on YouTube was actually I was doing vines and then like viners were like making YouTube videos and like going into them I was like oh I should probably start doing YouTube too because like that's like really dope and I had I had before in my life I had posted videos on YouTube like with my friends doing silly stuff and I had watched some YouTubers and everything like that but then uh then I posted one and then a little while later posted an, another one I was like the beginning of 2014 in January was when I was like okay I'm gonna post every week and really like take this seriously you gotta really take it seriously if you want to you know do well and uh, impact people and reach people and giving like the followers and fans a chance to uh, see you in a different way and or see me in a different way I guess I could say and um, more personally because yeah YouTube is very uh, personable and just talking to the camera and stuff like that if you weren't doing social media what would you be doing acting which I am doing now like I, I've I was just in the passion which was on uh, Fox in March and that was a live show and then throughout March I was shooting a show that'll be out on the go 90 app in like August September they haven't had an exact release date then I'm shooting a pilot next week and so really good things are happening with acting I grew up like doing theater and stuff like that and I've always wanted to act I was in school um, at Florida State University in their acting program getting my acting degree when I was like doing you know kind of growing on social media and started doing that stuff so it kind of just all came full, full circle so I honestly have no idea what I'd be doing if I wasn't doing this because I've always wanted to to do it. Just started working with No Kid Hungry so I went and visited a school and kind of saw how the program worked and uh, it's really cool seeing like their mission to end childhood hunger in America which is awesome so yeah just working on a few different things and um, just really excited for it all. This segment is called Gabriel Decodes Guys. Gabriel Decodes Guys. Let's so do it. Decode it for us. What does a girl do to talk to their crush? Or how do you okay. make, you know, get that first step going? How do you understand what they're saying? Does yes really mean yes? With a guy, most of the same things they say, for the most part, mean what they, like if they say like, yeah, or no, that's typically what it means. Unless a girl corners them, which could happen because Sometimes girls are like, does this dress make me look fat? Then they just yeah, and you're and you don't know you can't answer either way because you're kind of you know. But then sometimes like guys will say stupid things that they don't mean, and then the girls get really offended and they're like, oh, but I didn't mean to. Like, I'll, can I take it back? I'm sorry. My relationship kind of started different than most, like my like Jess, my girlfriend, lives in Australia, and she found she found out who I was because I was on my friend's Snapchat story who's Australian Jacko and and she saw me through that that was the first time she saw me and then she found my Instagram then DM'd me because she was taking a trip to LA and was just like uh, yo I'm going and she saw that I was like Christian too and so I posted Bible verses and stuff like that and she was like uh, yo I'm going to LA um, I want to like visit churches out there do you know any like I see you Christian too do you want to do, do you know any good churches and I was like oh yeah I go to Hillsong out here and then she was like oh I go to Hillsong in Australia so then that kind of started that I don't think there was much but she reached out though. That she reached out. Yeah, she reached she's out. Confident. She yeah, to oh, you. don't be afraid to like go talk to dudes. That makes a guy feel good too. Like, oh no way. Like she wanted to come say hi to me. Yeah. You know, kind of thing. What if they want to make their guy feel special? What's a good thing to do? See, I think it's like different for everyone. Cause like love languages. Like for me, I like words of affection. Like for me and Jess, like I like to like know that like I guess she loves me through like confirming it through what she says and, and like how she acts and stuff like that yeah so um that's for me I would say it depends on on so who learn it is. what they like yeah learn yeah you have to learn a lot about them and kind of grow in that yeah yeah yeah. Just it takes time it takes a lot of time just because cologne is a good thing doesn't mean that's what they like like figure out what they like exactly exactly yeah and then what type of cologne because then it narrows it down even more exactly yeah, let's play a quick game Salty or sweet? Sweet. Which friend's character do you relate to the most? Joey. One Direction or Zane? One Direction. How would your friends describe you in one word? Weird. Old Justin Bieber or new Justin Bieber? New Justin Bieber for sure. Yeah, he's a changed man, ladies and gentlemen. Would you rather have a personal chef or personal driver? Personal chef for sure. Food is amazing. What's your favorite season? Fall. Yeah. Yeah, I like the leaves changing colors and it getting like weather, the sweater weather. Can you do any accents? Okay, I'll try Australian. Like, I feel like Americans would think it's good, but okay. people, Australians, yeah, I think it's pretty bad. I my uh, Australian accent is uh, it's getting pretty good. I'm, I'm you think it's pretty good, right? And I'm just trying to do an Australian accent right now. And uh, yeah. Who's your best friend? Jess. There we go.